Yo 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 what up motherfuckers, and welcome back to Let's Play Jedi Academy. Charles in the motherfucking house, and we are flying solo for this mission, that poof to cunt convict won't be around to whinge, and bitch and piss and fart and moan at our godlikeness. So then, we are off to the planet Ord Mantel. Pause if you want to read the briefing, but the gist of the level, is celebrity death match and shit. This should be easy, just plant some charges, watch the fireworks and come home. What can go wrong? What can go wrong says the bearded wonder, utterly oblivious to the fact that those are some very famous last words. Let's max out force protection, it will prove invaluable for this mission. I'm sure the convict expected me to put one point in a different ability like a retarded, but we took our riddle in today don't you know? Weapons for this mission are much of a muchness, I would advise you to take at least one power weapon like the rockets or the concussion rifle, but anything else is completely at your discretion. You see, this level features only a single solitary enemy, and for most of the level he will be unkillable. Actually, he's unkillable period, you can only defeat him. Huh, there's some of the weapons right there. Now gaze in wonder as Jaden whips a bomb, that is larger than him right out of his ass. Fucking Star Wars physics, how do they work? Now we say hello to the antagonist, and as the internet famous meme goes, sometimes it's not what you say, it's how cool you look not saying it motherfuckers. Boba Fett! This doesn't concern you, Jedi. Just walk away. Look, I can't do that. Congrats to Jaden for being unfamiliar with the workings of the Mandalorian. So then, Boba fucking Fett in the house. Boba Fett is completely unkillable. If you hit Force Sense to see his health bar, you'll quickly discover that you're never going to drop that shit to zero. However, Boba Fett is not Force tuned, and this has absolutely no defense against powers like Grip, so you can have quite a bit of fun with this guy. The mission itself will require you to run around the area placing those ridiculous bombs, and Boba Fett will be hounding you the entire time. You can flee from him if you want, but I'm personally going to use him as a training dummy and shit. Do be aware however that, if you get a bit too close for his liking, he can unleash his flamethrower at you, and that thing hits like a truck. Of course, as a guy with practically infinite health, Boba Fett makes the perfect force grain sponge. If you hit him enough times, he will fuck off momentarily to lick his non-existent wounds, giving you a brief respite before he returns to fuck up your day. That being the case, let's head in the direction of the first bomb location. The city of sorts is divided into two halves, with your ship being smack bang between the two as a sort of dividing point. You can open the map to find the locations if you get lost, but it's pretty straightforward I think. Bounty Hunter. You're going to learn soon enough that sneaking up on a British overlord is a great way to have the fuck colonized out of you. So you ambushed me, and now you're retreating. Make up your bloody mind, dickhead. Well, as long as he's having fun up there with the fairies, let's plant the first bomb and shit. Here's location one. Bombs away. Obviously, don't stand next to the bomb, unless you have a death wish. Back for more than are you, you floating bitch. Bring it on, this British overlord does not fear you. Stupid flamethrower, it is so bloody hard. You know, flamethrowers aren't used anywhere near often enough in the Star Wars universe. Who actually uses them aside from the Mandalorians, because I can't think of anybody. Which is really a crying shame, because flamethrowers reek of badass. Anyway, after planting the first bomb, head over here, and you can replenish your shield, if you need to. Doesn't look like the bounty hunting wonder is following us. Oh well, no skin off my nose. Apparently I spoke too soon. Hey Mr. Fed, the convict tells me there is this skill, and it's called Tracer Missile, why don't you start spamming it like all the cool kids allegedly do? Once again that flamethrower messes with my fans, to use this man as a training dummy. 
First world problems and shit. All right, bounty hunter. If you're just going to spam frame throw, I'm going to call the convicts and get a suitable insult. Stop bouncing off the walls, I say. Okay, Mr. Fit, I need a breather. I need to call Tom so I know what sort of insults I should be throwing at you. After all, he's the one who has played Warcraft in space, not I, so he is a bit better suited for this job and shit. Sorry, call Convict Faggot. Calling Convict Faggot. Bye -bye. Let's put him on speaker. Hello? What's up, Fag? Eh, uh, the usual. You? I'm playing through that academy stage as we speak, and as much as I hate to say it, I require your assistance. Really, dickhead? Come on, I told you, if you get lost, just use the fucking map. Hold your horses, idiot. I'm not lost or anything. What I need help with concerns, Boba Fett. Um, okay, what, is he kicking the shit out or something? Heavens no, who do you think you're talking to? The problem is I don't know how to insult him. But I, I told you, just call him a trace and missile spamming fuckwit. But he hasn't fired any missiles, he's just spamming his flamethrower. Well then call him a fucking power fag who thinks he can spam oil slick and tank. Convict. Tom. He hung up on me, what a fucking prick. What the fuck ever? Parfank it is? I have no bloody idea what oil slicks have to do with anything, but if Parfank is the go-to insult then it's the go-to insult. Speaking of Parfank, here's one now. So Mr. Fett, before he rudely hung up on me, he said something about you being a crappy tank. Something about spamming oil slick. I don't see any oil, so you clearly fail at your job. And if you can't do your job, you are worthless. You're not even trying to tank my damn hits. You're more like an evade tank. Revs are for DPSing, not for tanking. Fuck out of here, scrub bounty hunter. We're off to plant some more bombs up in this bitch. In fact, there are a grand total of six bomb locations, three in each half of the level, and we have planted three of those bombs so far. That means that this half of the level is done. We need to head back to the area with our ship, and move through it into the unexplored half of the level at this point. And you good sir need to fuck off with those lasers. Learn to oil slick and shit. Crub ass par fag. Can't even tank properly. I think I'm insulting him correctly. If not then the convict is going to fucking get it. Oh good. The flamethrower has once again come out for play. It's so bloody annoying. Because it puts a natural barrier between me and him. So I can't even run up and make him give me his blood. Anyway, let's head right past our ship. No par fag. Fuck off with those gay lasers, and learn to oil slick already. We have made it to the second half of the level, and as previously mentioned we have three locations we need to set us up the bomb in and all that fancy jazz. Might as well take the med pack, even though it's fuck all healing. Waste not want not. And once again the par fag returns with his lasers, and flamethrower and non-existent oil slickage to be a thorn in our asses. You bounty hunting wonder, why don't you bugger off, and go suck on Mandalorian fat cock. Ain't nobody got time for your shit. Even with bloody rank 3 protection going, I got nailed by that flamethrower. So bloody imbalanced. I wonder if anybody has ever hacked the game, and given themselves that weapon, it would certainly make lightsaber fights infinitely easier. Never bring a lightsaber to a flamethrower fight. Advice for you all to live by. Christ almighty, I really need to plant the bomb, and get the hell out of dodge before I get struck with an errant laser and kill. Give me your blood, motherfucker. Ah, now I have room to breathe. What the hell is he doing? Boba Fett, you are a par fag, not a warrior. I'm pretty sure charge is not in your skill set. Making a mental note to ask the convict about that later. You know, it's really beginning to dawn on me that Boba Fett is a really bad bounty hunter. He's yet to launch a single missile in my direction. He apparently can't oil slick worth shit. He thinks running into me is a bright idea when I'm holding a weapon that can weld steel, and most importantly, it hasn't occurred to him to just get into Slave 1 and land that shit on me. I always hated the design of Slave 1 anyway. It looks like a hammerhead shark tried to have sex with the clothes iron. Apparently he's also unable to aim his flamethrower downwards. That's fortunate, because he could have cooked me right there. Okay, that's the second last bomb done. 
The bounty hunting power pack lack of oil slicking wonder will get his soon enough. Once you plant all the bombs, you just have to return to your ship and defeat him in combat, which is as simple as launching one rocket at him. Remember, he can't push them away since he's not a force user, just a glorified Batman. And there's the last bomb location over there, and Boba Fett isn't even going to try to stop us this time. Guess he's largely given up since his flamethrower hasn't managed to kill us yet. That's all of them. Let's head back to our ship. And finally the power pack dispenses with the tracer missile bullshit. Sorry Mr. Fett, but firing rockets at a guy who can send them right back at you isn't the wisest tactic in the book. Sure is Matrix in here. Give me your blood cockhead. That shit needs to be colonized for the British Empire and distributed amongst people who actually know how to make oil slicks and shit. Right, let's make a break for it. Back to our ship we go motherfuckers. The level is basically over at this point. All we need to do now is wait for Boba Fett to show up one final time, and when he does, introduce a homing rocket to his face to complete the level. I guess he's on a smoke break. Come on, Huckhead, don't make us wait. Oh, he's sitting all the way up there. Very well, that just makes my job all the more simple. Bombs away, motherfucker. As if you could claim a fucking bounty on this British overlord you shit talking shit stain of the shit. You killed me exactly zero times despite me running into your flamethrower repeatedly. So you met Boba Fett. I'm impressed. I ran into him once myself back on Coruscant. Just barely got out alive. Not someone you want as an enemy, but... Well, I guess we have something in common now. Dear Boba motherfucking Fett. Fuck off. Learn to oil slick. Go suck Mandalorian's cock. And don't show your face around these parts ever again. It's property of the British Empire now, bitch. And thanks for watching as always, you bunch of motherfuckers.